extraction, as the term is used pharmaceutically, involves the separation of medicinally active portions of plant or animal tissues from the inactive or inert components by using selective solvents in standard extraction procedures. The products obtained from plants are relatively impure liquids, semi-solids, or powders intended only for oral or external use. The extraction of natural products progresses through the following stages. 1. The solvent penetrates the solid matrix. 2. The solute dissolves in the solvents. 3. The solute is diffused out of the solid matrix. 4. The extracted solutes are collected. A. In the context of extraction processes, a solvent refers to a substance capable of dissolving or extracting other substances, typically solids, liquids, or gases, to form a solution. Solvents are used to separate desired compounds or components from a complex mixture often referred to as the sample matrix selection considerations remember there's no single universal solvent for natural product extraction the optimal choice depends on the specific target compound the nature of the raw material and the desired final product characteristics often a combination of solver a stepwise extraction process using solvents with different polarities might be employed to achieve optimal results. The choice of solvent in extraction depends on several factors including, selectivity, the ability of a chosen solvent to extract the active constituent and leave the inert material, safety, safety. The ideal solvent of extraction should be non-toxic and non-flammable. Cost it should be as cheap as possible. Reactivity. A suitable solvent of extraction should not react with the extract. Recovery. The solvent of extraction should be quickly recovered and separated from the extract. Viscosity. To allow for easy penetration, the viscosity should be low. Boiling temperature. To avoid heat deterioration, the boiling point of the solvent should be as low as feasible. Common solvent types. Nonpolar solvents. Suitable for extracting nonpolar compounds like fats, oils, waxes, and some essential oils. Examples include hexane pentane petroleum ether dichloromethane, DCM, use with caution due to health risks, chloroform, use with caution due to health risks, benzene, carcinogen, avoid using benzene due to its hazardous nature. Polar aprotic solvents. Dissolve a wider range of compounds due to their polarity but lack a hydrogen bond donor. Examples include acetone dimethyl sulfoxide, DMSO, dimethylformamide, DMF, use with caution due to health risks, tetrahydrofuran, THF, 1,4 dioxin, use with caution due to health risks. Polar protic solvents. These have a hydrogen bond donor and can dissolve a broad range of polar compounds like sugars, acids, amino acids, and some phenolics. Examples include water, universal solvent but limited solubility for nonpolar compounds, methanol, toxic, flammable, ethanol, flammable, isopropanol, flammable, butanol, flammable, acetic acid, green solvents. Ethanol A renewable and readily available, but flammable. Supercritical fluids, CO2, A carbon dioxide can be used as a solvent under high pressure and temperature, offering a non-toxic and recyclable option. Deputectic solvents, day A mixtures of natural components that form novel solvents with tunable properties for specific extractions. Different extraction solvents are grouped in increasing polarity order. 1. N-hexen 0.0092, petroleum ether 0.1173, diethyl ether 0.1174, ethyl acetate 0.2285, chloroform 0.2596, dichloromethane 0.3097, acetone 0.3558. N-butanol 0.5869, ethanol 0.65410, methanol 0.76211, water 1.000. Conventional extraction techniques maceration, involves soaking the sample, usually plant material, in a solvent, water, ethanol, or a mixture at room temperature for a period to extract soluble compounds. Simple and widely used, 
particularly for extracting bioactive compounds from botanicals. Percolation involves passing a solvent through a bed of solid material, such as ground plant material, to extract soluble compounds. The solvent is allowed to flow through the sample bed by gravity or with the help of pressure, often used in herbal extraction for producing tinctures and ex extracts. Soxlet extraction, a continuous extraction technique that utilizes a soxlet extractor, which consists of a thimble, a siphon tube, and a condenser. The sample is placed in the thimble and the solvent is continuously circulated through the sample by boiling and condensation. In the desired compounds, particularly suitable for extracting compounds with low solubility in the solvent or when prolonged extraction is required, steam distillation, utilizes steam to volatilize and carry essential oils or volatile compounds from plant material. The steam, carrying the volatile comile compounds is condensed and collected separately. Widely used for extracting essential oils from aromatic plants. Hydra distillation, similar to steam distillation but uses water as the solvent instead of steam. Particularly suitable for extracting water-soluble volatile compounds from plant materials. Expression, involves pressing or squeezing the sample, such as citrus fruits or seeds to extract the oil or juice, commonly used in the extraction of essential oils from citrus fruits. Cold pressing, involves pressing the sample, usually seeds or nuts, at low temperatures to extractures to extract oils, preserves the quality and integrity of heat sensitive compounds, such as in the production of virgin oils. Decoction, involves boiling the sample in water for an extended period to extract water-soluble compounds, often used for extracting medicinal compounds from materials by simmering them in water. Digestion, involves heating the sample with a solvent, such as acid or alkali, for an extended period to break down complex matrices and facilitate extraction. Commonly used in analytical chemistry for sample preparation and digestion before analysis. Analysis, pulping, involves mechanically separating the pulp or juice from the solid components of fruits or vegetables, used in the fruit juice industry for extracting juice. Non-conventional extraction techniques. Supercritical fluid extraction, SFE, utilizes supercritical fluids such as carbon dioxide, CO2, at temperatures and pressures above their critical point. CO2 becomes a supercritical fluid, combining properties of gas and liquid, allowing it to efficiently extract target compounds. Offers high selectivity, minimal solvent residue, and reduced environmental impact. Microwave-assisted extraction, may, applies microwave energy to heat the solvent and sample accelerating the extraction process, rapidly increases the temperature of the solvent, enhancing solubility and mass transfer kinetics, offers shorter extraction times, higher extraction yields, and reduced energy consumption compared to conventional methods. Ultrasound assisted extraction, UE, utilizes high frequency sound waves. Ultrasound, to disrupt cell walls and enhance mass transfer, creates cavitation bubbles in the solvent, increasing solvent penetration into the sample matrix, provides rapid extraction, improved extraction efficiency, and reduced solvent usage compared compared to conventional methods. Pressurized liquid extraction (PLE), also known as accelerated solvent extraction (ACE) or enhanced solvent extraction is, involves heating the sample under high pressure with a solvent to accelerate extraction, offers higher extraction efficient to extraction times compared to traditional methods, solid phase micro extraction, SPME, utilizes a coated fiber to extract analytes directly from the sample matrix, the fiber is exposed to the sample, allowing analytes to partition between the sample and the fiber coating, Provi provides rapid extraction, minimal sample preparation, and reduced solvent usage compared to conventional liquid-liquid extraction. Enzyme-assisted extraction, EE, 
Uh, this technique utilizes specific enzymes to break down cell walls and release the desired compounds. Uh, this is particularly beneficial for extracting from delicate materials or those susceptible to degradation with traditional methods. Pulsed electric field extraction BEF, applies short pulses of high voltage electric fields to the sample, disrupts cell membranes facilitating the release of intracellular compounds, offers rapid extraction, improved extraction yields, and reduced thermal degradation of heat-sensitive compounds. Hydrodynamic cavitation-assisted extraction K, uses hydrodynamic cavitation generated by high-speed liquid flow to disrupt cell structures and enhance transfer, increases solvent penetration into the sample matrix, Improving extraction efficiency, provides rapid extraction, reduced solvent usage, and enhanced extraction yields compared to conventional methods. A brief summary of various extraction methods for natural products. Method, solvent, temperature, pressure time, volume of organic solvent consumed, polarity of natural products extracted, maceration method, water aqueous and non-aqueous solvents, room temperature temperature atmospheric, long, large, dependent on extracting solvent, percolation, water, aqueous and non-aqueous solvents, room temperature, occasionally under heat atmospheric, long, large, dependent on extracting solvent, decoction, water, under heat, atmospheric, moderate, non, polar compounds, reflux extraction, Aqueous and non aqueous solvents, under heat, atmospheric, moderate, moderate, dependent on extracting solvent. Soxlet extraction, organic solvents, under heat, atmospheric, long, long, moderate, dependent on extracting solvent. Pressurized liquid extraction, water, aqueous and non aqueous solvents, under heat, high, short, small dependent on extracting solvent. Supercritical fluid extraction, supercritical fluid, use CO2, sometimes with modifier near room temperature high short non or small non-polar to moderate polar compounds. Ultrasound assisted extraction, water, aqueous and non-aqueous solvents room temperature or under heat atmospheric short moderate dependent on extracting solvent. Mic microwave assisted extraction, water, aqueous and non-aqueous solvents room temperature atmospheric short non or moderate dependent on extracting solvent. Pulsed electric field extraction, water, aqueous and non-aqueous solvents room temperature or under heat atmospheric short moderate dependent on extracting solvent. Enzyme assisted extraction, water, aqueous and non-aqueous solvents room temperature or heated after enzyme treatment atmospheric moderate moderate dependent on extracting solvent hydro distillation and steam distillation water under heat atmospheric long non essential oil usually non polar disclaimer this channel does is not promote or encourage any illegal activities and all contents provided by this channel are meant for educational purposes only any copyrighted material on these slides is included as fair use for educational purposes only it will be removed at the request of copyright owners is